Welcome everyone. This is Stealth Craft Boats. My name is Trevor. Today we are going to be showing you a 16 foot Superfly. This baby is heading out to the sweet state of Montana. This veil is a custom veil dedicated to that wonderful state. We'll show that off a little bit more in some of the video and some pictures, but as of now, let's go over some options. Starting off right up front, that nice SST guide tough bottom all the way up to the bow there, keeping you nice and protected down through the entire bottom of the boat. This stuff is super slick, super strong. We've been very impressed with it this year since we started putting it on our boats. Coming down, we have our very nice bubble hood casting brace right up front. That nice line basket that helps when you're stripping streamers, indicator fishing, anything like that. Right under it, nice little cubby for your phone, fly boxes, and then a storage hatch underneath that is also lockable so you could leave your fly boxes and some bags, gear and whatnot up under the deck there if you're going for overnight or some travel. For the seating arrangement up front, you can see we have a nice wide open space here in between our BBT guide box here. This is our double box that's a little bit deeper, a lot wider. Give you some more room if you can fit a whole grill and all your gear still in that thing. That's why we made it. One of those seats can slide right off if you want to go one seat, if you're not going to have you know more than three passengers with you in the day. Coming back, we have our super square false floor for the rower station. Nice adjustable molded foot brace there as well. This thing is outfitted with two half tackle trays. This setup is probably my favorite. It gives you the nice rod storage, keeps your rods protected. You have two trays on each side. We're not really worried about this bat guy moving around too much. We want him to stay in that casting brace. But the two half trays gives you this nice wide open floor plan up front to move, about, move around the cabin. If you're going to be switching anglers, moving around, netting fish. That's probably my favorite setup for those two tackle trays right there. We have our high back gray rower seat on the rower's box there. The removable standard brace in the back. A nice temper seat on the back deck as always. And a 35 pound tornado on the back of this thing. Beautiful, beautiful boat. This veil is just amazing. It turned out really well. This is powered by some Sawyer square top Dynalite shoal cuts. Some of the best oars in the game. Probably one of my favorite set of sticks that we carry. But Montana, the last best place apparently in the, the nation. So we definitely wanted to pay some homage to this beautiful state. That nice mountain range and lake setup. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous setup overall. The guide's dream right here for setups. This is probably the best if you're going to be running more than two passengers, clients with you. But if you would like any more information on some of these awesome drip boat builds, any of our jet sleds, flat boats, pulling skips, all boats of uh, you know different kinds, we do it all here at South Craft Boats. So let us know. Get at us for some information. As always, we thank you for watching. Have yourselves a great day.